have reached episode 10 of 116. Yes, guys, 10 straight weeks of bringing you everything Tobago House of Assembly. If you've been with us from episode 1, thanks for sticking it out. If you're now joining us, this is where you get all things THA in bite-sized pieces. This past week has been quite eventful, and we have lots to cover. So, let's get to it. One, one, six. Beautiful island. Jaheem vs. Thomas is the 2024 Tobago Soccer Titans champion with his crowd-pleasing, electrifying performance of Pump It Up. Coming in at second place was Kalen Jamal Alexander with Ramage, and rounding off the top three was Cast and Cupid with Bad in the Road. Here's a bit of their performances. So long I've been longing for, I'll go all one, two, one, two, what is it? The Tobago House of Assembly has honored the legendary Queen of Calypso, Calypso Rose, by renaming a road in her honor. The road renaming ceremony took place on Friday, 25th October at the Scarborough Esplanade. Your daughter is home. I would like to thank the good Lord for sparing my life at this time to be still here. And I would like to thank the good Lord for the inspiration that he had given me to write over a thousand calypso. The last calypso I wrote is about three weeks ago about Tobago and the carnival and I sent it to Tobago and a young girl performed it last night. The 2024 Blue Food Festival took place on Sunday, October 20th at the Bloody Bay Recreation Grounds and it was no surprise that scores of people journeyed to the northeastern side of the island to enjoy this highly anticipated event. Secretary Tobago, the Honorable Farley Augustine, cleared up some misunderstandings surrounding a statement he made at the Tobago Hindu Society's Diwali celebrations in which he touched on the topic of crime in Tobago. Banished for 14 years, but eventually he returned triumphantly and eventually he got the crown that was rightfully his. And, and so this concept of light over darkness, 
is a concept about the fact that darkness only exists when there is an absence of light. When there is an absence of light, that's when darkness um, exists. And so in that context, I, I said to the Tobago community, I was present at the, uh, the Gulf City Mall, that, look, the darkness we are experiencing now with crime is because there is an absence of light. Because sometimes we are guilty of shutting the door on light and allowing darkness to reign supreme. But once light shows up, darkness must go. And so in that context, I said, I said, mothers, if you suspect and you know that your sons are, are dealing in illicit businesses and that their illicit activities are providing gains for which you are benefiting from, mothers, you have a responsibility to shine some light on that and dispel that darkness. I spoke to parents in general. I said, parents, do you remember that at one time, if you took home a copy book, a copy book from school, a pencil that did not belong to you, that your parents would beat you, you get a, a good flogging. And I asked, I said to be good as where are those days? How do we move from a state where we could not carry home a copy book that did, did not belong to us without the, the rebuke of our parents to today being okay? Twenty graduates who comprise persons from the Community Residence for Children, the Probation Hostel and the Children's Authority of Trinidad and Tobago recently graduated from a Nurturing or Charges training session hosted by the Division of Health, Wellness and Social Protection. Among the topics covered were stress management, communicating with children about difficult issues and promoting self-esteem in children. The public is advised that the Department of Marine Resources, the Trinidad and Tobago Coast Guard and the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service are enforcing the rules and regulations governing the Bucco Reef Marine Park. So to all users, please be mindful of this when utilizing the space. Chief Secretary Tobago, the Honorable Farley Augustin, has traveled to Sao Paulo, Brazil to attend an IFIP summit. Accompanying him is the Administrator in the Division of Education, Research and Technology, Mrs. Diane Baker-Henry, and Technical Advisor in the Division, Natasha Second. They return to Tobago on the 27th of October. Ms. Cynthia Alfred, former THA Secretary of Community Development and Culture and the first female Deputy Chief Secretary, recently passed away. She has been remembered by many for her outstanding contributions to Tobago in community service, culture and education. Officials and the general public were invited to sign a condolence book at the Assembly Legislature in memory of Ms. Alfred. Now for the question of the week, we're asking you your views on the Tobago October Carnival. Well, it does be good. Every year does be good for me because I'm not really a carnival fan, as I said, but I just go out and lie, man. And I still enjoy myself now, like if I'm playing with the bands and them. So I find it does be good. Well, I don't really partake in carnival per se, but if I were to, I would really say like right now in Tobago, it's, it's a waste of time. It's not profitable to the economy here in Tobago. Why is it? Who is helping? Um, carnival here, yeah, I have been participating in the Tobago Carnival from since it was launched and I'm continuing to support the Tobago Carnival initiative because, you know, I am a carnival baby. I was born in the month of the Bacchanal, which is February. You know, although carnival in Tobago is in October, you know, I, I really and truly do love my carnival bar. And that's how we end this week's episode of 116. As always, guys, it's a pleasure bringing you everything to Bagel House of Assembly. If you're not following us on our social platforms, please do so now so you never miss anything that we post. I'm Patricia Nicholson Richards, and I'll see you in our next episode. Stay safe.
one one six beautiful island That was a production of the Department of Information, Office of the Chief Secretary, Tobago House of Assembly.